Thor Dachau here. It's this week on Blu-ray and DVD once again, and we start. How about this for timing? Yes, the best picture winner at the Academy Awards 12 Years a Slave, a movie by now that needs no introduction. Have a look. Well, boy, how you feel now? My name is Solomon North. I'm a free man, and you have no right whatsoever to detain me. You're no free man. You're nothing but a Georgia runaway. That servant that don't obey his lord shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. The condition of your Just astounding. What a cinematic wrong. achievement. And Chiwetel Ejiofor anchors the entire movie, but he's surrounded by an incredibly talented cast, including Michael Fassbender, Paul Dano. Alfre Wittert has a scene-stealing uh, part that is really great. Lupita Nyong'o got the Best Supporting Actress Award, and the list goes on. But not only that, the movie's writing is amazing. John Ridley, uh, for the adapted screenplay, won the Oscar as well. It's so evocative of the time. The Hans Zimmer score is beautifully done, and the shot composition of director Steve McQueen, who is a British film director, and he studied art in college. And every picture in the movie feels like a painting come to life. It's brilliantly edited, expertly crafted, the best film of the year. See it and then see it again, 12 Years a Slave, an instant classic. And the bonus features on the Blu-ray include some great things, uh, a historical portrait that shows you all the making of uh, features of the movie. And they actually have Chiwetel Ejiofor reading passages from Solomon Northup's actual diary. So check that out. Once you watch the movie in, in stunning high def, you can check out all the great making of features. 12 Years a Slave, get it. It's a collector item I tell you because the best picture they don't come around this often and uh, it is a winner in my mind now we're gonna switch gears not quite at the same caliber level but still an entertaining thrill ride Katniss Everdeen is back in the second installment of the Hunger Games catching fire and Jennifer Lawrence once again takes the bow and arrow there she is Katniss Everdeen the girl on fire People are looking at you, Katniss. You've given them an opportunity. They just have to be brave enough to take it. You saved my life. You gave me a chance. Yes, to live. No, to do something. Well, this was astoundingly better than the first one. Yeah, you might as well just skip the first one and uh, go right to this one. Uh, so Katniss and PETA are on the victory tour through all the districts, and then um, at the end of it, President Snow, played by Donald Sutherland, announces a deadly 75th Hunger Games that could change Pan Am forever. Basically, all the previous winners have to get together themselves and fight it out in a tropical location. So sad seeing Philip Seymour Hoffman in this one. And in the bonus features, I always check out the bonus features on these movies. This has two and a half hours of making Speaking of features, amazing. And they shot this movie on film, which is a rarity these days. So it looks great. It's got tons of thrilling action. And uh, the acting is, is awesome, too. And the uh, dystopian future that it examines is uh, really uh, sort of effective. In, in the, they got a new director for this one. And you really see uh, how it was a step up from the first one. But again, the bonus features, I can't stress this enough. There was so much crap that went into making it. And it's all beautifully laid out here uh, in the uh, features. So uh, watch this movie and then get settled in, because there are some fascinating glimpses at how they created the Hunger Games Catching Fire. There will be two more installments. Of course, they're uh, splitting the Mockingjay into two movies, so you can expect those in the near future. Next, in the sort of similar fighting vein, we're talking about martial arts now. It's the Grand Master, and this is based on the true story of the man who actually trained Bruce Lee. Asian superstar Tony Leung portrays legendary kung fu master Ip Man, who survived the turmoil of the 1930s in China and changed the world of martial arts forever. Uh, this is a visually stunning saga. It's got love, honor, vengeance, and some breathtaking action. Uh, courtesy of choreographer Yuan Wo Ping, who worked on The Matrix and Kill Bill. The movie's a little bit slow at times, but it tells a great story, and I'm a big fan of Tony, Tony Leung. I loved him in Lust Caution, and uh, this is a great movie. It's uh, just sort of refreshing, and you don't see uh, original ones like this all the time. When martial arts movies come along, oftentimes they're uh, you know a little too animated and too fantasy-driven, but this does a sort of great uh, realistic glimpse at uh, this guy's life, and again, features some breathtaking action sequences. So check that one out, a very fascinating story. Finally, we leave you with a dud, unfortunately, and it stars Brian Cranston with a really bad Russian accent. Cold comes the night. Alice Eve stars as a woman who runs a hotel, and she gets kidnapped by a criminal mastermind played by Cranston. Get a load of this. Where is the money? If you don't find out, I will put in your little girl's ear. 
Yeah, this is like a bad made-for-TV movie, unfortunately. And I'm surprised that Cranston uh, took the role. But, I mean, he needs a paycheck, too. And the other weird thing, too, is uh, the movie stars Logan Marshall Green, who you might remember from, remember from Prometheus. He plays a corrupt cop, and he's so over-the-top and wacky. It's just distracting. The movie, unfortunately, just strikes out in most categories. It's overacted. It's got a really bad script. The story doesn't go anywhere. It's bleak, and it's bland. It is forgettable. So if you see Cold Comes the Night, you are in for a disappointing couple of hours or hour and a half give or take so uh, avoid that one that's my dud of the week but there you go people it's all about 12 years of slave and catching fire this week i'm thor dykow you can check me out on twitter as always let me know what you thought we'll see you next week on bt vancouver.ca